In this video, we're going to look at recurring decimals. So, what we're going to do is we're going to change 0 0.7. The little dot on the top means recurring. It means that same number repeats after the decimal point. And we're going to change it into a fraction. So what we do, we say let x and we write this out. 0 0.777 and 7 and so on. So what we're going to do now is to say I want the same number 7777 to repeat after the decimal point. Well if I multiply it by 10 I will get 10x is equal to 7.7777 and so on. So what's going to happen is I'm just going to rewrite x underneath that. So we get 0 0.7777 and so on. Then I'm going to minus them. So 10x minus x gives me 9x. And then all everything after the decimal point gets eliminated and 7 minus 0 just gives me 7. So we can say x Divide both sides by 9. I'm going to write it as a fraction, so we get 7 over 9 is the answer. Here's a question for you to try. You can pause the video, and when you're done, I will go through my work solution. Okay, welcome back. So we can say, let x equal to 0 0.8888 and so on. We want the same number to repeat after the decimal point. So I'm going to times it by 10. So we get 10x. And that's going to be equal to 8.8888 and so on recurring. So I'm going to rewrite x underneath it. So we get 0 0.8888 and so on. We can minus the 2. 10x minus x gives me 9x. Everything after the decimal point gets eliminated. 8 minus 0 is 8. Divide both sides. Divide both sides by 9. So x equals to 8 over 9. In the next example, we're going to change 0 0.31 with 3 and 1 recurring into a fraction. So the two dots means that both numbers recur. So we could write let x equals to 0 0.313131 and so on. So what we want, we want 3 and 1 to keep recurring. So this time we're going to multiply it by 100. So we get 100x will be 31.313131. Three, one, and so on. So I'm going to rewrite x underneath it. 0 0.313131 three, one, and so on. Going to minus the 2. So 100x minus x gives me 99x. 31 minus 0 is simply 31. Everything after the decimal point is eliminated. Divide both sides by 99. x is 31 over 99. Here's a question for you to try. You can pause the video and when you're done, I will go through my work solution. Okay, welcome back. So we're going to change 0 0.898989 into a fraction. So we're going to say let x equal to 0 0.8989 eight nine and so on so we want eight nine eight nine eight nine to keep recurring so we're going to multiply it by a hundred so we get hundred x is eighty nine point eight nine eight nine eight nine and so on so I'm going to rewrite x underneath it zero point eight nine eight nine eight nine and so on minus the two so we get 100x minus x is 99x. 
this will give me 89 minus 0, which is 89. Everything after the decimal point is eliminated. We divide by 99 on, on both sides. So we say x is 89 over 99. In this next example, when the recurring decimal starts from 8 and finishes at 7, it means all those numbers 8, 3 and 7 keep recurring all the time. So if we were to write this out, we would get let x be 0 0.837, 8, 3, 7 and 8, 3, 7 and so on. So what we're going to do, we want the same numbers 8, 3, 7, 2, repeat or recur so we're going to write a thousand x would be 837.837837837 and then we could write x directly underneath it so we get 0 0.83738 three seven and so on minus them so we get a thousand x minus x is nine hundred and ninety nine x gives me eight hundred and thirty seven minus zero is eight hundred and thirty seven everything after the decimal point is eliminated and we just divide everything by nine hundred and ninety nine so x would be eight hundred and thirty seven over nine hundred and ninety nine and now we can simplify this down to 837 over 999 and that will simplify to 31 over 37 and that's our fraction. Here's a question for you to try. You can pause the video and when you're done I will go through my work solution. Okay, welcome back. So we're going to say let x be 0 0.249249249 and so on. Then we're going to do a thousand x is going to be 249.249249 and so on. Then we can rewrite x here as 0 0.2 Four nine two four nine and so on minus them so we get 999x equals 249 minus 0 is 249 everything after the decimal point is eliminated Did divide everything by 999 so we end up with x equals 249 over 999 and then we're going to then just use our calculator to simplify it down. So we get 249 over 999. And that gives me 83 over 333. 83 over 333. In this last example, we want to change 0 0.426, but this time, 2, 6 is recurring. So what we're going to do, we're going to write this out. So we're going to do let x equals 0. Point, now be careful here, 4. And what repeats is 2, 6, 2, 6, 2, 6, and so on. So what's going to happen is the 4 is an issue. So if I multiply everything by 10, 10 x, then I end up with 4.262626 and so on. Now the next step what we want is we want 2626262626 to repeat again. So if I take x and multiply that by a thousand, I will get 426.262626. So that's exactly what we're going to write down. A thousand x is going to be 426.262626 and so on. So underneath 1000x I'm going to write 10x 
and that's what we know is 4.262626. Now, when I minus these, 1000x minus 10x is 990x, and then 426 minus 4 is 422. And don't forget, everything after the decimal point is eliminated. So now I'm going to divide both sides by 990, like so. And then what we end up with is x is 422 over 990. Then we can simplify this down. So we get 422 over 990. And that gives me 211 over 495. So 211 over 495. Here's a question for you to try. You can pause the video and when you're done, I will go through my work solution. Okay, welcome back. So the first thing we ought to write is let x equal 0 0.8 one three one three one three then what we're going to do is write down what 10x is that gives me eight point one three one three one three and so on now if I times x by a thousand as in a thousand x that will give me eight hundred and thirteen point one three one three one three and so on so then I could write down 10x underneath it as 8.131313 and so on. Then I'm going to minus both equations. So I get 990x. Now 813 minus 8 is going to give me 805 and then we can say that we're going to divide both sides by 990. So then the final solution is going to be 805 over 990, which is going to be equal to x. So we can write x here. And we can simplify our solution down. So 805 to 990 and that gives me 161 over 198.